Hi, my name's Jeffrey. I'm an amateur audio engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to load impulse responses into Studio One Ampire. And the reason I'm doing it is because I got myself totally frustrated on this. Here's the story. Been hearing about impulse responses, got interested in them, found out it was easy to load into Studio One Ampire, thought I'd give it a try. So I went here onto Plugin Fox, downloaded these Catharsis impulses, and then tried to figure out how to load them into Ampire. I'm going to show you how I messed up and show you how to not do what I did. Okay, here I've got Ampire, and I kept saying things saying, just drag and drop your impulse response into Ampire. Well, this is what I get. No matter where I try to put it, it says it won't drag and drop it in there at all. Then I saw something saying, oh, you need to have the user cabinet. Oh, so let's find the user cabinet. Okay, I've got the user cabinet. Now I'll try to drag this in there. Um, still, nothing. Nothing works. And then there was something about, oh, you need to drag it into the microphone. Okay, well, let's open up the microphones. There are the microphones. Like, I'll drag it in there. No luck. Well, I started getting frustrated, and whenever that happens, I find it's best to go look in the manual. So I pulled up the manual and searched for the word impulse. And here it is. Okay, you can also drag and drop impulse response files into the mic A, B, and C slots for the user cabinet, CIR Maker. Wave and AIFF files are supported. Okay, wonderful. But I'm not seeing it. And then I noticed this little box right here. Some of you already know where this is going, but this shows you different parts of the Empire model. And the thing that I didn't have turned on is right here. That box has to be all the way lit up. And now, with the user cabinet selected, you can see I have a choice for mic A, mic B, and mic C. With that, we can just drag different impulse responses into each one of these. Next, we just click on the microphone, and we can adjust the faders to try out the different impulse responses. Okay, let's go. Probably notice you can mix them together. And if you want to have fun, you can put a little delay, get some phasing going. And you probably notice these are linked together, but if you want to break the link, just click over here, and then these all move independently. And that's it. It's a lot of fun. I hope this demonstration saved you from the frustration that I had trying to figure out how to get this to work. I'm having fun with it, and I hope you do too. Again, this is Jeffrey. Until next time, happy mixing, my friends.